everybody. My name is Mike, and I like to make a lot of random stuff. Today we're gonna to talk about this fish tank. This aquarium is one of the first things that people see as they walk into my house. We've got some jellyfish, some other things in there, but everything in that aquarium is 100% fake. You can probably tell it's not that realistic looking, but it does trick the eye a little bit when you first see it. It causes a lot of double takes, it causes a lot of people to ask, whoa, what is that in there? So we'll talk a little bit about how I put it together, what I used, and how it is that we're making it look more alive. So this is the kit I bought. It's fairly inexpensive. You get quite a few fish in there. I think I got two jellyfish and three or four of the other kinds of fish. They're pretty easy to use. You just snap the fishing line into the suction cup. It all just comes together and you just stick it to the bottom of the tank. The problem is once you get them in there, it's a little underwhelming because they just look kind of creepy sitting there not moving at all. Uh, it almost looks like an undersea ghost town or something. So my solution to that problem was to find one of these, uh, they're called a power head, and this pump with a propeller on it actually circulates water within the fish tank to cause a current. Fish like to swim against it, and in my case, it stirs up the water enough that it moves these artificial fish so that they look a little bit more alive. This pump was fairly cheap too, uh, really easy to use. You just plug it in, stick it to the side of the tank, and let it do its thing. So just add the fish, suction cup them to the bottom of the tank, add some gravel, add some fake plants, and it looks pretty, pretty convincing. Of course, you can actually mix these fake fish with real fish in your aquarium and get a little bit more realism out of it. For what I'm doing, I don't really have an interest in having the fish around. I don't want to have to feed them every day. I don't want to have to clean the tank all the time. You do have to change the water. You know, if it's sitting there, you've, you've got to change it at least every once in a while so that it doesn't get gross, but it's a lot easier than having to clean it if you have actual fish in there and food in there and that kind of stuff. My fish tank actually serves a different purpose and it has to do with this giant weather forecasting cloud in my foyer and this night statue and this talking fruit bowl that was inspired by a Studio C comedy sketch. Hey Tommy, are you going for a midday snack? This talking bird in a cage this amazing unicorn head on my bathroom wall, the creepy mask in my other bathroom, and a whole lot of these magic wands. If you think you know what I'm doing with all this, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell and like the video, of course, and you'll be able to see if you're right in a video I'm making in the near future. If you decide to make this project, I'd love to hear about it. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.